Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, well, we're gonna be doing something a little bit fun today, and we're gonna be seeing if Tartarus can take on the Halo 2 train and survive it. So, as you might remember, on the map terminal in Halo 2, there is a train that constantly goes back and forth, and if you get hit by it, it is instant kill. And that is because the train... So, actually, the interesting thing is the way the train works under the hood is that the train actually has two parts. The train itself and an invisible, basically like a, a, an invisible kill barrier that moves with the train. That's actually how it works. So th that's why it says kill by the guardians when you get hit by the train. And that's why it's instant kill. Because it is. So we're going to be seeing what happens if Tartarus gets hit by the train. Will it kill him? Will he survive? Who knows? As you know, when Tartarus uses his uh, gravity hammer, it makes him invincible to pretty much everything. So, what takes precedent here? Does invinci invincibility protect from instant kill? Or does instant kill uh, take precedence over invincibility? Well, let's find out. And to do this, I modded the train onto the boss fight of Tartarus. And just got away from him to get hit by a train here. And he did. And there's the train running over Tartarus and several of his brutes. But... In this first part of this test, he's, you know, totally invincible this first part. The beam rifle came and take his shield down either. And as expected, because of that, Tartarus survives. Now, his other brutes that got hit by the train, none of them survived. But Tartarus is still alive and he's basically under the map now. But that's okay. Because if you ever uh, got like a banshee or another vehicle into this boss fight room and you've used it to push Tartarus off the platform, you'll know that like falling down doesn't kill him. In fact, he just respawns in the uh, the grab lift in the center here, and just continues the boss fight. So, you never could kill Tartarus by knocking him off the platform. So, now we just gotta wait for Tartarus to respawn, and sometimes he gets stuck at the bottom here, but um, we'll get to him shortly. But, like I said, the train is instant kill, and his shield makes him invincible, so we're gonna try to get his shield down, and see if with a shield down if the train can kill him instantly or not. So now we just get gotta get Tartarus back up to the platform. Like I said, he does kinda get stuck in the grab lift sometimes. I'm not sure why. It doesn't happen to me too often, but for some reason it happened to me this time around. But anyways, during this part, uh, it, it actually takes a while to like get him into the line of the train. So like, I have to time it just right, and I also have to take his shields down just right. And actually, Johnson ruined that there. He hit Tartarus like too many times and kind of pushed him out of the way of the train. So I had to try it again here, and still, <laughs> timing was off. So let's try that again here. So here, I finally got it. Actually, no, not this one. Uh, his shields were up, and he just got pushed back. But here, I finally got it. Took his shields down, and boom, he gets plowed by the train and let's watch that in slow motion so you see no shields and here comes the train but it actually does not kill him and the reason is because Tartarus actually kind of has like two lives on this mission um, you cannot kill Tartarus on the first time his shield is taken down so he'll, he'll always say this line And then after he says that line is when you can finally kill him afterwards by taking a shield down and shooting him. But no matter what, no matter how much damage your weapons do, no matter like insta kill or anything, the first time his shield goes down and he takes damage right after that, he cannot be killed. But like I said, after that, then you are pretty much free to kill Tartarus. And that's what we did here. This is the second time he gets hit by the train and his shields are down here. And here comes the train. And he does indeed get killed by the train's instant kill. Most, li most likely it is the instant kill from the train that killed him. But it's also possible he was simply splattered by the train. I'm not sure which one it was specifically, but it works. Without his shield, Tartarus is not in invulnerable to the train at all. The uh, He's just a regular brute at that point. But with his hammer and the shield active, Tartarus cannot be killed by the Halo 2 train. 
So he's actually one of the few things, one of the few characters in the game that actually has like some immunity to the Halo 2 train. Because like I said, the train is composed of two parts and like one of them is an actual instant kill moving barrier, which is, you know, as the name implies, it's supposed to be instant kill on anything, but not Tartarus with a shield up. So I guess in the case of Halo 2, invincibility does take precedence over instant kill. But yeah, so there you guys have it. That is uh, what happens when Tartarus goes up against the train. Uh, hopefully you guys found this video to be interesting. And if you did enjoy it, then as always, make sure to leave a like. Uh, leave a thoughts in the comments. Make sure to uh, let me know if there's anything else you to check out or look into. And aside from that, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.